All right, you guys, welcome back to another episode. Hey, I'm gonna be trying something that I saw Steve Wallace do at Camping with Steve. He did a tent inside a tent. It looked like Steve had a whole lot of fun with it and it was entertaining, so what do you say? Let's give it a shot. All right, I gotta stomp down this area a little bit. Ooh, man, that takes it out of you. I think a lot of you guys have been calling that the bomb shuffle. I uh, hope you guys still like that. <laughs> I'm having fun with it. All right, let's get this tent set up. So we're gonna be using an ice shelter just like uh, Steve did. But this one is from Nordic Legend. It's a new ice shelter. Um, it's their Explorer series, so I'm excited to see how it works. What's nice about these is they're super easy to put up. Man, this thing's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Hopefully I have enough room over here. There's the legend himself right there. There's quite a bit of room in here. Um, so it'll be perfect for setting up a secondary tent. Look at all that beautiful snow out there. there there's a picnic table, look at that. Quite a bit of snow. The first tent we got that we're gonna put in here is an insulated tent. This is the Krua Duo. So I think this is the Cola, Krua Cola inner tent and uh, I've used this a lot a lot of you guys have seen it and it's it's really nice it's really nice so we'll see how an insulated tent does inside an insulated tent we'll get her pumped up so quick Yeah, this is cool. This is really cool. Look at that. It gets really dark in there, you guys. So I might have to slide it over a little bit to kind of configure a little more space in here because it is kind of taking up quite a bit. <sighs> That's pretty cool though. Plenty of headroom. We got insulated tent inside of an insulated tent. Should we add one more? One more insulated tent? All right, let's do it. Okay, so there that one is. Look at that. So there's another insulated tent. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It's kind of like a little, uh, little mini, uh, I don't know, little coffin kind of. I don't really like calling it that, but it's like a little cozy little den. <laughs> All right, let's shove it inside this one. We'll just shove it in there. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Perfect. Fits perfectly. Oh, oh. 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 I can't see. <laughs> I can't even see. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, you guys. Can you see me? Here, let me turn on the light. There we go. All right. Who are in? I don't know about this. This is interesting. Um, obviously my feet are where my head should be, so I'll have to crawl in the opposite direction next time. Well, we have a, quite a bit of room in here. These, these sides actually open up. It looks like you can see, see outside. Well, actually we can see into the next tent. There, there it is. So we're insulated inside an insulated tent. We're triple insulated. It's super quiet in here too. Listen, do you hear anything? 
I just hear my heartbeat. No, <laughs> which can be kind of creepy sometimes. No, all right, let's clear out of here. All right, let's crawl out of here. Oh, oh it's so dark in there. <laughs> That's crazy. That is cool. So we got an insulated tent inside an insulated tent inside an insulated tent. Has anybody else done that? I'd like to know. If anybody else has tried this, let me know in the comments down below. Now, if you're ever using a propane heater like this, a Mr. Buddy heater, um, and you're not using just a one pound cylinder, and you're using one of these hoses, they recommend that you put a filter on. Because what happens with a lot of these hoses is they'll leach oils through and it'll clog up your, your system. So they're not very expensive, they're pretty cheap. It's just a little uh, filter. Mr. Buddy sells them, so you can always pick them up. Just one of those added like safety precautions. You really don't want it to get all fouled up. But it's only if you're running one of these hoses from like a big tank, like a 20 pound tank like I got. I got my table and my chair this time. A little more glamping. A little more glamping than the last video. You guys may notice that I have a little bit of a cold. So last week I actually lost my voice. I could not speak at all. But now I can speak, but I got a little bit of a sniffle, you know, little sniffles going on. Got our chair. All right, look at that. That's nice. And we'll have our buddy heater over there. We're set. Brought the duck lamp this time. Uh, the bear lamp kind of broke his, I uh, kind of broke his ear. I gotta fix him, but we've got the duck lamp. So we're good. Once again, you guys always have a carbon monoxide detector, especially with the buddy heater. You got an open flame, you've got some carbon at least. So it's always good. This does have a low air shut off, but you should always have two ways of uh, alerting yourself. Now we got to set up our bed, uh, which means we got to come into the cave here. Uh, the deep dark cave. Hopefully my new uh, air mattress will fit in here. So we'll roll it out. Kind of is a little wide. A little wide. Okay, not sure. Okay, there we go. Heh, look at that. It's like a little sponge. We'll just, I guess just push air in there. How long is this going to take? Well, that's how it works. You gotta put your hand over this hole. Let's and pump it up. I think it's gonna take a little while. There it is, all pumped up. It's a nice thickness. Let's see how it feels. Oh yeah. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice and soft. I like that, guys. Oh, it's a little bit bigger than. Uh, than this solo tent. I don't know if I should open the door to kind of let it kind of fall out of it or not. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll just make do. I think it's gonna be comfortable. I gotta get the sleeping bag. Oh, oh. Oh, climb out of there. Oh. 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 You guys see me? I'm coming in with my sleeping bag. Oh, trying to army crawl. Uh, yeah, push it back here. There we go. All right. That's pretty easy. Kind of. Uh, okay. All right, if you guys are cozy, I'll just leave you right here. You can uh, kind of just take a rest. That'd be great. Uh, so we got our sleeping bag in there. Looks good. So I do have another thermometer that I'm going to use. Um, inside of here. 
there's a little bag right there so I'll probably just put it inside that and uh, we'll be able to monitor the temperature inside here I don't think there's any other pockets but yeah we'll throw it in there and uh, we'll be able to monitor what the temp is inside couple pats for for the pillow and we're good all right oh, man this is nice I really love having a tent that you can stand up in it makes all the difference for me um, it really does it's my favorite my favorite all right so currently we are sitting at 344 I think we got a little bit of time before dinner so I think I'm just gonna hang out and relax enjoy my time Kind of just rest for a little bit. And uh, I'll catch you guys up when we, uh, when we start dinner. Got a nice flame there. Things are looking like they're heating up. Well, we're warming up in here. It is climbing up top for sure. We're up to 72 degrees Fahrenheit up top. And down low, we're looking at 55 degrees. It's a little cooler down here. Uh, we've got 22 degrees outside, it keeps lowering. So that's negative five outside and 13 degrees Celsius inside. Well, on tonight's menu, we have pan seat. Uh, hopefully I'm saying that correctly. I've said it wrong, I don't know how many times. <laughs> pan seat, it's not pants it, right? <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna give it a shot and hopefully it turns out okay, you guys. Hopefully I do this correctly. Little bit of canola oil. And now we throw in some carrots. Then we also have some cabbage. I also chopped up some uh, yellow bell peppers. So I'll throw those in now. Okay, I think that's done. I'll throw it over here in this pan. All right, we've got some pink shrimp, peeled, deveined, and the tail's off. Um, I believe this is already kind of pre-cooked. Maybe not. Cooked thoroughly, it says. So now I'm gonna throw in some chicken. Now I shredded this chicken at home. It was just a rotisserie chicken. Uh, makes it easy. Real easy. So I saw a video and I watched the guy make this. So that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just kind of following his steps. So actually, you know, you can't get mad at me if I mess it up. You got to get mad at the other guy. <laughs> we got some chicken stock. I'm gonna pour that in. We're gonna bring that to a nice boil. I don't know how much it needs. Oh, apparently all of it. Apparently all of it. Okay. So we'll bring that to a boil. I think we've got a little bit of a boil going there. We're gonna add some soy sauce. Oyster sauce. Don't know how much. Once again, I'm just kind of winging it. Rice stick bihon. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna try it. So I guess you just stick it in there, just like that. Just kind of stick it in there. It's supposed to absorb it, from my understanding. See how long it takes. Will that soak up all of that juice? I don't know. All right, now it's uh, kind of absorbed all of that water, which is really crazy. 
So now we'll add back our veggies and our meat. Put it all back in there. I feel like I got way too many noodles personally, but maybe I messed up on my portions here. All right, there it is. It, uh, it looks good. Hopefully it'll taste good. I got a little bit of lemon. I'm gonna squirt that in there. Squeeze that in there, I should say. Give it some more flavor. Oops. <laughs> Shooting it all over the place. Good toss. With the amount of noodles I put in there, I think I was a little short on my veggies. That turned out great. Hopefully, hopefully it tastes good. <laughs> All right, let's bless the meal. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for just the ability to come out here and, and enjoy a, just a wonderful evening. Lord, I just pray for those that are watching right now, if there's uh, any troubles or struggles that they're going through, I pray that you'll touch, touch their hearts, that uh, you will let them know that you are with them and that you will help them through it. Father, I know that I've been struggling with uh, the sickness and and uh, just things that are going on, but it's just a minor hiccup, Lord. Uh, there's so much more to be joyful about, and I just thank you for all that you do and provide. Bless this food to my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We've got Pansy in the house. <laughs> Ooh, that's a little toasty. Woo! I can kind of hold it like this. Hey, look at that. It's really warm on the bottom, but I can hold it up top like this. And then I can also eat over it so I don't make a mess. Look at that. Is that, that is what a wok is good for. It's like a big old bowl of, I don't know. <laughs> Just makes it easy to eat over. All right, here we go. Pants seat down the hatch. That was a big bite. Oh, wow. That is tasty. That is really good. It definitely has a lot of flavor. Uh, the lemon, the garlic, the onion. The shrimp's a little strong, but it still tastes good. I probably could have added some seasonings to it, you know, but kind of forgot. But otherwise, wow, what a good dish. That yellow bell pepper added some really good flavor too. Now, hopefully I made this correctly. Uh, like I said, I followed a video that I watched and I don't know if that's like the authentic way of doing it. It turned out good. I like it. Um, It was simple. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments if I messed it up. <laughs> Dinner was delicious. That really filled me up. I wasn't able to eat it all. That was just way too much food for me. But I did leave room for dessert. And we're going to have another ube cake. This was really good the last time I tried it. So I figured I'd eat it again. So yeah, I learned a little bit more about what this is. It's a purple yam. I was not really sure exactly what it was the last time I was eating it. But yeah like a purple yam and the inside is purple look at that i also had somebody comment and say that they make ice cream with ube which would be really tasty too i'm sure mm. that's good that's a really good little uh, dessert it's a good thing i like them because i got like a huge bag of them <laughs> i wasn't able to just buy like a couple of them Okay, so it's currently 8.46. It's 15 degrees outside and it's 58 degrees inside. Which is negative 9 Celsius outside and 14 Celsius inside. Alright, let's climb into that bed if I can. It's going to be a challenge, I think. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. But... I'll just try to pile myself in here. Somehow, I can't maneuver around. Good stuff on my back. Whew. It's already hot in here. Oh, sleeping bag is like way over there. Oh. It says the temperature inside is, uh, it's 54 degrees inside here. I don't know if you can see that or not. It, it's giving me a 92% humidity. <laughs> Probably because I just grabbed it, but 55. It's 55 in here. That's pretty good. Here we go. There's not much room between me and the and the wall right now. But that's because I'm on this this mat. This mat is putting me up at least two more. Four more inches, I should say. 
It's uh, pretty thick and it's comfortable too. Okay, so like I said, oh wow, we're going up to 61 now. It's climbing. It's getting hot in here. It's a tight one. It's definitely a tight one. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a straight jacket a little bit. It's definitely cold outside, so it'll be good to be nice and warm and cozy inside this little cocoon. Triple insulated. Triple insulated tent. <laughs> All right, well, it's almost 10 o'clock, and I've gotten up to 73 degrees in here. That is crazy. It's warm, you guys. I've been actually sweating. I'm going to need to open up some stuff. It is cozy, though. All right, well, I'm going to hit the sack and get some rest, you guys. We'll see how this goes. I'll let you guys know tomorrow. I'll see all of you in the morning. Good night. Uh, well, good morning. It's currently 6, almost 6.30 in the morning. And it was nice and cozy in here. 55 degrees, which makes for a really cozy sleep. I slept really good. Better than I've slept in a long time. But I did get up earlier. I got up at like 5. I had to switch out some batteries in my GoPro. But uh, I checked the temperature and it was like four degrees fahrenheit out there which i think is like negative 17 celsius i can't remember but i did turn on the buddy heater so i've got the buddy heater now heating up the tent which i think is going to make things nice and toasty in here again so that's a very good thing all right i right. gotta get out of this cocoon <laughs> so warm in here though it's definitely chillier in the tent but i'm really glad i turned on that buddy heater i'm gonna put my pants on oh it feels much better actually up top all right when i stand up i can feel the heat that's nice looks like we got 70 degrees up top and uh down low four degrees outside Five degrees outside now, but it's 55 inside, which is negative 15 uh, Celsius and 13. So the minimum, let's see what the minimum was last night. The maximum was, was 10 degrees. The minimum was two. Ooh, we got down to two, two Fahrenheit, which is negative 16. Oh yeah, that's chilly. Definitely got chilly. Oh, got a little bit of ice in there. I've been uh, using these little Folger Classic Roasts lately just because I have them. And uh, they work pretty good. I like them. It's like a little tea bag. Just throw it in your cup. Just pour it in. It's like, just like tea. Except for it's coffee. A little steepage. I can feel that uh, coffee going down. It feels good. It's chilly, you guys. It really is chilly. It's also beautiful out here. And I just love the crunch of the snow. It sounds so nice. The sun's coming through. Beautiful morning, you guys. But it's chilly. I gotta get back inside. All right, for breakfast, I've got, I just went something really simple. It's this little, I don't know, it's a breakfast combo. It's pancakes with sausage syrup. It says heat in 30 seconds, so obviously you're supposed to use the microwave with this. Oh, like we got some pancakes and some sausage. 
I also do uh, have a couple of eggs. Oh, hey, look, it comes with syrup. So I'm gonna cook a couple eggs first, as long as they're not frozen. Oh, yep, it's a little frozen. <laughs> yeah, frozen egg. Little frozen eggs. I found this uh, note that I got from my my daughter last night. It says, Dear Daddy, stay safe on your trip. Don't forget to eat your lunch and make sure to stay hydrated. <laughs> Sleep well and love and miss you. And then also she sent, she drew a picture. She loves horses and that's me and her riding a horse. She wants to go, she wants to go riding horses with me, which I'm not a huge fan of uh well i've never really been on a horse so it kind of intimidates me but she's riding sally and i'm riding walnut someday maybe someday maybe someday we can get out there and uh, ride some horses lily that'd be fun oh good it's not frozen really glad for that little dollop of syrup on there that's gonna be good Look at that. Look at that. That looks tasty. Hey. Mmm. It's not actually bad. I'll try that sausage. Mmm. That's actually a quick, easy, tasty meal right there. I like that. Well, I was very impressed with uh, this setup, you guys. It's a lot of stuff. It made for a fun test. Uh, would I do this all the time? No. Just because it's way too much, too much gear to take out. If you've seen a lot of my other videos, the insulated tent, inner tent, works really well. Um, and I just enjoyed taking that out. It appears we have snow uh, snow removal out there now. So they're gonna be making a little bit of noise. Pull this one out of here again. Yep. This setup was actually really nice. I, I actually really enjoyed it. Even though it was a little claustrophobic and it was kind of like sleeping under the covers, you know what I mean? So you can hardly breathe. Well, consider subscribing if you want to see more craziness like this. It doesn't cost you nothing. And I always appreciate more friends. <laughs> one down timber <laughs> so every Saturday you guys when I upload videos I like to kind of do a schedule on that so every Saturday you guys can join me going out camping um, you just never know what's gonna happen you know that's the adventure of it um, I like to keep things interesting and I guess this is one of the one of the interesting ones. Still got quite a bit of propane too. So that did really well last night. The only issue with the propane is condensation. I did have quite a bit of that last night. It dripped on me somewhat. So like up here you can see, I don't know if the camera is showing it, but it's all frozen right now. That's frozen water condensation from the propane heater that's why i really like wood stoves nordic legend makes a good ice shelter this one is only for propane but they do have one that comes with a stove jack and i used that one before and it was really nice it gives you that dry heat i definitely prefer wood heat over propane any day I really love the ease of these pop-up tents too. Makes setting up camp so much easier. So much easier. All right, I'm all picked up, packed up, and I'm ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a whole lot of fun for me. Testing out something new, you know. Um, you just It's so much fun doing stuff like that. So if this is something you guys are interested in seeing more of, please let me know down in the comments down below. 
or if you have any other suggestions or ideas. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. As always, God bless, and I will see you on the next episode. Bye!